To use the ADC in your STM32 project, go to the analog section in the Cube MX and select your ADC. We have three ADC and we are going to use the ADC1. And in the ADC1 mode and configuration panel, you need to scroll down and select which channel you want to use. In our case, we are going to select channel number 15 as well as the channel number 14. And if you are new to this tutorial series, I would like to mention that we have previous two tutorials about the creating the project in the STM32 Cube MX IDE and we are using the free autos in this tutorial series. So you may need to check out the previous two videos to start along with the project but if you know how to create the free use the free authors and how to create the project in the cubemx id you are good to start this project so just scroll down and select the adc mode we are using the independent mode and you need to select the resolution we can use the 8 bit or we can use the 10 bit we will uh, st uh, stick with the 10 bit uh, and pc4 and pc5 are the two pins that are used uh, for this uh, uh, channels and just a, a save and it will automatically create uh, the code for uh, your project and once the code creation is complete you may need to uh, switch the perspective into the regular C++ IDE and uh, don't forget to use the PC4 uh, for and attach your any signal that you are using reading the analog for, from and the H ADC1 is the handler for the ADC uh, let's scroll down and see uh, the pin initialization for the every GPIOs and whatever you had previously configured. And the start task uh, 2 is uh, the task that we created previously and we are going to read uh, the ADC uh, in the ADC val1 variable. And the, uh, here we need to uh, use the how underscore ADC function and in our case we are going to use the polling method so uh, first of all we need to start the ADC and we need to pass the handler for which ADC we are going to use and the second function we are going to use the polling method so we need to uh, call the poll for conversion method and we need to pass the second parameter of the timeout how much uh, we pass the 100 millisecond for the timeout and after that we need to get the value with the hall adc get value function and we are getting the value into adc wheel val1 and after that we simply convert this uh, number uh, into our um, string for that purpose we are using the sprintf function and we need to create the uh, string array which is uint8 type of data structure or in other case it could be unsigned character and uh, let's change it to integer for simplicity and uh, the value is converted into integers and uh, let's shift some kind of uh, previously created lines and uh, let's duplicate the value and pass uh, the your string uh, into the UR terminal so we are using uh, the, the UR terminal let's build the project so that over ADC value would be ship, uh, sent to the UART terminal. So we are building uh, the project and we will run this project as an STM32 project and once your um, code is downloaded into your STM32 F4 discovery board you are good to check on the serial terminal and here you can clearly see the value from the ADC is uh, showing up on the ADC. So let's add more characters to our str string and pass some information um, alongside the value and let's comment out the previous uh, uh, command of the task2 string and let's reload uh, the code into your stm 32 f 4 discovery board. Once done, let's move to the Arduino which we are using for the terminal and here you can see now the ADC val 171. So now we have the message along with our value that our 
uh, ADC this is over ADC value and the previous two strings uh, task from uh, task 3 and uh, text from text 4 is coming from our previous two tasks and uh, let's move and change the resolution to the 10 bits because we were using the 8 bit value and now uh, change the resolution uh, by uh, this method you can change the resolution whenever you want uh, and here you can see this is just a uh, one uh, variable change in the initialization process and uh, all if once you are done with that you can see uh, these uh, starting method and uh, just copy from the initialization code of channel selection code and uh, by this you can select any other channel you want you need uh, these lines to copy from your initialization code and just copy them as it is into your task or whichever function you want to um, send the value to the UART or read the value into your variable just print out unnecessary code and just copy all the remaining code and paste that code into your task 3 and here we are only need to change the channel number to 14 and now we are reading two values from a uh, two ADC channels with the ADC polling method we need to change this to be two so that we can identify which value is coming from a uh, channel number one and two or uh, 14 and 15 and here you can see the value two is coming from channel number 15 and value one is coming from the channel number 14 and in our task three and four, uh, two and uh, here you can clearly see that we are just reading uh, multiple channels in our case the two channels channel number 14 and 15 similarly adding one more channel is pretty simple just move back to your uh, ioc file and here you can select any other channel if you want in our case we selected the channel number 12 and just create a rebuild the project so that your code changes apply into your code and once the changes has applied into your c++ perspective uh, let's move down and uh, into your uh, file just copy the code and move to the task uh, task number four and just chain change the channel number and uh, um, uh, the indication in the value and uh, because we are using the soil moisture sensor we can write that we are using the soil moisture sensor and you can change the delay value as well so that the every value is printed on a different interval and once applied the code you can see the values displaying on the terminal so um, that's uh, pretty much uh, for this tutorial you can uh, switch the changes or the value information into your uh, code and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, the channel and uh, don't forget to see the uh, description and if you have any question you can command so I would try my best to answer uh, as much as possible